Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline for anyone new out there. Um, this is going to be vlog number six, which I think I'm going to split into part one and part two just because I already know it's going to be a long video. I mean, I've got loads planned in for today. Um, and then Friday, we are going to be visiting Alton Towers. Because of the whole COVID situation, we can't really have loads of people gathering together. So we decided that we're going to take us into Alton Towers. And we're not just going to be visiting the theme park. We're going to actually be staying over at the CBB's hotel, which I know Gazim is going to absolutely love. So I can't wait for him to see it. I will record everything and show you guys everything. Uh, we've also booked the water park um, and just other bits and bobs. So yeah, we're gonna go tomorrow on a Friday and then come back Saturday. And then Saturday evening, I've also got like a karaoke session to celebrate my sister-in-law's birthday. Oh, I've just remembered, I need to pack a, I need to pack a gift. Oh, I need to add that to my list of things to do because there's no way I'm gonna get a chance to do it Saturdays, we'll be back for 6 p.m. and then our karaoke session is at 7 p.m. So, oh my gosh, my list of things to do today is getting longer and longer. Ooh. Um, so yeah, today Kasim's at preschool and that will just allow me time to get everything that I need to do. Normally on a Friday, I would use that day to get my house back in order. And then on a Sunday, I use that day just to get things ready for the next few days when I'm at work. So I'll do all the ironing and stuff like that. But I want to do that today so that when I come back uh, from Alton Towers, I'm not faced with like so many chores. So it's just about organizing my time and using my time smartly. So I've got loads of things on my list to do. Um, I'm also going to be visiting my mum today after I pick Asim up from preschool at half three um, and then I'm also going to be visiting one of my best friends who um, yeah has decided last minute that she's going to go to Somalia she, and, and I think she's going to go for some time as well so I'm just going to nip in and say my goodbyes and see her beautiful daughter inshallah um, yeah feeling feeling a bit sad about that one but really excited that she's going to Somalia it's her first family holiday she's really nervous but I know she's gonna have an amazing time inshallah and in relation to that she asked me to make a video about um, you know flying with younger ones so that's another thing I need to do I need to add it to my list I need to edit my video and schedule it in for Sunday this is something that I do on a Sunday like I'll edit my videos on a Sunday but I want to do that today so I'm gonna add that on so yeah if you know anyone that is planning on flying sometime soon and they're feeling a bit nervous send them my way <laughs> like I've got you I've always got you um so yeah um that's gonna be it mainly um I really need to make a start with all these tasks I've got so many things I need to do I'm just gonna play some music motivate myself another thing I do as well is I time myself so things, I've got things like clean the bedroom. So I'm going to give myself 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, I try and do as many things as I can. So like make the bed, clean the mirrors, hoover up, you know, just get that bedroom back in order. And I'll try and get it all done in 15 minutes. And I just find that I spend my time so much more productively when I time myself. And then once the time's done, I move on to the next room, time myself. Um, so for the bathroom I'll give myself 20 minutes and I'll try and like clean as quick as I can and it really helps me because when I don't time myself I get easily distracted like I might get a message on my phone so I'll, re I'll respond to the message and then I'll be like oh well, let me go to Instagram and then <laughs> before I know it like half an hour 40, 45 minutes has gone by and I've just wasted it so five hours and a half and I know I've got a feeling that I've missed some things out so I'm gonna, I know I'm going to be adding things to my list of things to do. So yeah, I really ought to go right now. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs> So 
um, it's 11.26 and I've managed to do a bunch of things. I've managed to do the bedroom, the bathroom, the kitchen. I even um, took out all my coats because autumn has kicked in and the weather's getting a bit colder now. So I've got all my coats ready when I need them. And uh, my H&M deliveries come today. So I'm going to show you what I got. I bought a bunch of things for autumn for myself and for Kasim. Um, I'm still it up. Ooh. So let me show you what I got. A few things in here. Okay, so I got this scarf. I wanted a satin scarf. Um, no, it's all right, but it's nice. So I got this massive scarf and I've seen someone on Instagram wear their scarf, um, wear, yeah, a satin scarf like this and it looks so cool. But I've also seen like loads of people wearing these type of scarves as tops, as like accessories. Um, this is going to look ridiculous right now because I've already got a underneath. But oh, you know what? This would have been so nice, like a summer piece. Okay. It's a bit big because I've got obviously my other hijab underneath, so it'd be a bit flat. But basically, I would wear it like this. Um, if I went on holiday. So yeah, I really like it, and it's it's big. It's gonna give me the coverage I want. I was scared that it's gonna like turn out like 30 centimeters each side, but no, it's huge. I mean, I can, if if I was wearing like a completely black outfit, I could even use this just a scarf wrap around my neck hmm nice and this was it was six pounds it was on sale so i don't know if they still have it but that's the first item i then got some trousers some smart trousers for work they're like high waisted i don't know how i feel about these i'm gonna have to try them on can you see the high waisted and they're kind of i think they'll pinch in the waist but then the baggy I might try them on and show you. I don't know, we'll see. But this was £19.99. If I can be bothered, I might link everything down below. I already know that this is going to be a huge vlog. And then I bought Gossip's some pyjamas. In fact, I'll show you Gossip's pyjamas in a bit. What is it? What did I buy? Okay, that's items. That's mine. Why have I bought so many things? Oh, yeah. So I also bought, I needed a black hoodie. So I bought one from Primark, but it's faded out and it's like a, it's like a washed out black. And I just needed an oversized, simple black hoodie. So I got this hoodie in extra large. And this was £14.99, so £15. And it's just a baggy top. I mean, I don't know what the lighting is like over there. I don't know if you can see anything. But it's just a baggy, simple, basic top. And I'll wear this with like some black leggings. And they'll be super comfy. What else did I buy? What a denim jacket. I have been after a denim jacket for the longest time. I normally love wearing denim jackets in the summertime. Um, but we've not had a, very much of a summer. I kind of forgot to pick one up this summer, but I thought this would be nice for the autumn. It's that gorgeous blue in like even springtime I can rock this. Anyways, this is a denim jacket. How much was this denim jacket? Where are my receipts? Denim jacket. It's uh, £19.99. It's such a beautiful colour. Look at this. Love this colour. I could wear my black hoodie underneath this and just rock it. In a casual look. I wanted an oversized denim jacket, so I'm hoping this is what I'm gonna get. Guys, if the lighting is really bad, you can't really see anything. I am so sorry. Right. Yeah, how do I feel about this? I don't know. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Should I keep it? I mean, it's not giving me that much coverage from the back, so I'd have to wear like a long top, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. I've tried to increase the lighting on the uh, on the settings, just so that you can see what's going on. I wish I did this before, but 
better look than leather, I guess. Right, and then I bought, should I buy another hoodie? Why would I buy two hoodies? Was it an accident? Oh, I know what I did. Okay, so I bought one in large and I bought one in extra large. Just because, just because I like it oversized. But sometimes, I mean, this looks huge. Sometimes I find like I overdo it with the oversizedness and it ends up just drowning me. So I ordered a large and an extra large. Try them on and then see which one looks better. Okay, that makes sense. In school, they always like pump up the radiator so it's super hot. But then at playtime and things like that, I always need something warm to wear or sometimes they don't pump up the heating and it gets a bit cold or just before like my time of the month I always get really cold it doesn't matter how hot it is I am like freezing and so oh this is such a nice material as well what's this so I got it an extra small small because it's oversized already and it looks huge on the model so I hope I hope it fits nicely. I tend to like oversized fitting and this looks huge anyways. Oh look at this. Yes. I feel like a grandma. And I love the grandma. I love me some grandma vibe. Yes. This was on the expensive side. It was about 50 pounds. For a cardigan, come on guys, don't tell me that's not expensive. It is. But what I've noticed is when I invest in certain pieces where the material is just decent, I know the material is really good, it lasts me for years. Oh my goodness me, how cute is this cardigan? Yes, so ties up. I can take from the back. I'm not going to do that because I don't like how it looks. Or I can just leave it open. I can off the shoulder like that. I think I'm keeping this top very nice. Can you guys see? I can wear it to work. Shirt underneath and it's long. So yeah, cute. Keeping that. Oh my gosh, this has never happened to me. Sometimes I buy things and I find like I have to return most of it because does it fit right? I do a lot of online shopping. Whoa, this is huge. <laughs> this is massive. <laughs> Let's see. This is what it looks like. This is a medium. Okay, I got So, yeah. This is going to keep me warm. It reminds me of something that builders would wear when they are like, if I'm looking to the side, I've got mirrors everywhere. So, I'm just like, oh, I think I might like it. It might look ridiculous in the camera, but I like it. Do I? I do. Oh, you know what I'd wear this with? Um, leather trousers. It's very, it's huge, guys. Look at this. Okay, maybe it's too big. Um. Oh, this is why it looks, okay, it looks huge on camera, I think. But, but I really like it. Okay, I might have to think about this one. Look at the size of the pockets. Who needs a bag where the pockets are this big? <laughs> and I've got two of them. <laughs> um, the arms just feel a bit big. But I like it. Do I keep it? Do I keep it? So yeah. Got to think about whether... It looks like I'm keeping everything, let's be honest. Yeah. Just don't tell Yasa. I don't know, I don't know why. It's okay, I work, I work hard, I, you know, I work hard, why not treat yourself? So, what I need to do as well, maybe not today, not a priority, but whenever I buy anything, I try and, you know, take something out of my wardrobe and give it away to charity, um, otherwise I just don't have space for it in my wardrobe, even though my wardrobe is massive. Oh, so I bought this um, high knit, this feels like it's gonna last me quite some time. And it's really long as well. So, yeah, this is nice. Might take this with me tomorrow to uh, Alton Towers. Cover size polo neck jumper was £25. So I'm keeping that. Wow, well, that's been a successful 
haul. So let's have a look at what I bought for Qasim. I picked him a few bits and bobs. The first thing I got was a black hoodie. Such a staple in his wardrobe, in anyone's wardrobe really. Um, I tend to leave this in his backpack uh, with his spare clothing. And this will match anything he wears. It was £9. But really good material. I also picked up this pack of five uh, long sleeved tops because all of his tops are basically t shirts. And as we transition into autumn, I just need some basic long sleeve tops. These were £18. I also picked up some pajamas. I picked up this pack because online I really like the design of it. It's got like winter animals. Um, and so it looks like this. I really like the light blue, like the baby blue collar and that uh, the ring cufflets. And so yeah, that looks like that. He might wear that. I might pack that up so he can wear it to Alden Towers. I also oh so that was nine pound ninety nine. And I picked up some more pajamas. Um, his yeah his current pajamas are starting to get a bit small for him. So this is a three pack for twenty five pounds. You get like three different designs. Very autumn vibe. And then he's got another one with sim yeah, with the same animals but just in different a colour scheme. Like how lovely is this one? I love this one. And then he's just got a like all plain just navy set. And these are all cotton. So he's got four new sets of pajamas. Um I'll have to get rid of some of his pajamas. So that was my haul guys. I think that, oh my God, it's 22 minutes. How is it 22 minutes? This is gonna be like the longest vlog ever. And it's not even been like, <laughs> you know, day two. It's not even day two yet. Um, but forgive me. I need to try the hoodies and find out which one I'm keeping. And then make a start on uh, packing the suitcase. Um, I also need to do the ironing. Uh, so I'll have to check what the weather's like next week. And then based on the weather, what I pick um, in terms of like outfits so that I don't have to worry about it in the morning everything is you know put together everything's ironed it's all done um, so yeah I'm gonna do that now so I'll catch you all soon bye so I'm just currently packing our stuff for the next few days so I've got Qasim's outfit for tomorrow and I then have his outfit for Saturday now Saturday we're gonna be in the theme park for most of the day so I've tried to pick clothes where I can layer up um, to keep him nice and warm but if it gets too warm then I can easily take a layer or two off this is the hoodie that I got from H&M today um, you'll probably notice that a lot of these clothes still have tags on and that's because most of these clothes I purchased last year in the Christmas sale like I bulk buy his clothes so if you're wondering how that works um, just check out my Zara haul and I like I took you through how it's all done and why I do it that way and it just really works so yeah, he's got a few more clothes with tags. So this is for three to four, and because he's turning three now, um, he'll be starting to wear all the clothes that I bought for him last year. And then I've got my clothes here. I've decided to keep this. Um, I'm gonna keep this because yeah, I am falling in love with it more and more. I'm gonna wear the denim jacket. Um, <laughs> I was gonna take that small suitcase there, but I was like, who am I kidding? So I've upgraded to a medium sized um, suitcase. I've also got this, I'll show you. I nipped it to two, uh, Poundland around two weeks ago. So I bought him some balloons because I wanted to fill up the room with balloons for his birthday. Then I bought this. Like, and then I thought to myself, why, why did you buy this? Literally, anyone would think that I'm pumping up a thousand balloons. I've only got about 20 there and, and, and you know, yes, I'll probably do most of it. But yeah, I'm a sucker for things that you know create or give me convenience in my life and I saw this and I was like oh such a such a good idea and um, I also bought this oh this is meant to be for my classroom it's meant to go in the puzzle not the puzzle box the reward box it's just a few coloring books you know as just rewards so that needs to go out as well um, oh I bought him this as well a little badge a rosette for his birthday um, hopefully he'll wear it. It's his birthday on Wednesday, so he might wear it again if he lets me put it on him. And then some, just some snacks. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Like Tesco used to sell it, and then they stopped. And then I discovered it in Poundland, and I was so happy. She's got a whole 
a lot of like goodness in there like dark chocolate chips biscuit and fudge pieces yum and of course some um lotus biscuits this is a massive pack so maybe i'll just take a few out but yeah i just need to start packing um i've got guys some swimming costume that i need to pack yeah this suitcase is already full and <laughs> like i don't know what i was playing at but yeah i've got first aid kit hairbrush oh i've also got this i bought this when we were planning to go to dubai we were planning to go to a few water parks and i thought this would be a good way to keep our phone safe while we are in the water park um so yeah hopefully i'll be able to get some good footage on my phone oh no this spilled no um a lush bomb oh damn it and oh my lyra um swimsuit modest swimsuit guys i'm thinking to do a review on this in fact so let me show you so i got this about two years ago two years and a half and just basically it's just a modest um it's inside out right now but it's a modest swimsuit i will uh, record it and show you but i think i'm gonna do a review because this piece is not cheap it cost me about 80 90 pounds and i want to do a review because there's some things about it that I just wish they changed and things that I wish I knew about or things to help people decide whether they do want to buy this swimsuit. So, yeah, there's the tag. Lyra swimsuit. But yeah, right, I need to get all this stuff in there and then make a start on some hyenas. So guys, I'm about to start wrapping my sister-in-law's gift. Now, you may be thinking, it's a bit strange, what kind of gift is this? However, <laughs> my sister-in-law is obsessed with hail, with cardamom. So I've bought her like loads of bags. Now there's a bit of an issue because I was thinking of doing like a bouquet style, but I don't know how to keep them all up. And I've still got loads left. And I've already filled up the box with like loads underneath. So I don't know what to do. I'm gonna grab some skewers and see if I can make like some sort of hail bouquet. So yeah, I mean, I do have another box. Thank you, Lena, for providing me with these gift box. Um, but I don't know if I wanna carry two. I don't know, but it's just carrying it. I don't wanna be carrying two huge bouquets of hail. I mean, if it was flowers, fair enough, but. <laughs> This is what hell we're talking about. We've got loads. I think I've got like 20 bags or something. But yeah, I'm going to try and sort this out. It's 10 past 2. So I've not got very long left. I've not really had anything to eat. I mean, I need to finish off my banana. And then, yeah, so much to do, so little time. So I'll catch you guys soon. Bye. And then go and pay, uh, pay a mall a visit. It'll only be a short one. He's pressing off the off button. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Oh, uh, battery went off on me earlier on. But I want to basically show you what my bouquet turned out looking like. So this is what it looks like. Absolutely rubbish. But I know she'll appreciate it. And I know she will yeah really like this so i managed to find some artificial flowers so you know it wouldn't be a proper bouquet without flowers so i just shoved them in there and i found a bow to you know put it all together so yeah that's my bouquet morning guys so today is thursday and we're nearly ready to leave. So I'd just come on here and just quickly update you on what's happened so far. So I think the last thing I recorded was my hill bouquet. 
And then after that, I just, yeah, I got Kasim ready for bedtime, gave him his bath and things like that. And then I managed to visit my friend Amal and saw my other friend Manzina there. And then when I got back, I managed to edit and upload my video on flying with a toddler and slash infant. So that would have been, yeah, that will be up by now, um, by the time you watch this video. And now what else did I do? And then I think I did some more editing from all the things that I recorded yesterday. And I also managed to order Kaisen's birthday cake. I have found this place on Instagram, they're based in Sheffield, and I do candy cakes, and I'll upload a picture here of one of their cakes. So I've ordered him that, and I can't wait for him to see it. I think he's gonna be super excited. I don't know whether I wanna drop it off at preschool yet, or take it home with me and have it with the family. So I need to decide. But yeah, um, I'll leave the link down below. So if you're interested and you're, you live in these surrounding areas, you may want to get in touch. I think that's all. So yeah, we're just going to get everything into the car and then probably set off. Um, oh, by the way, I've got my Lyra. Just to top it on, just to make life easier when we get to the water park. I'll be like re well, half ready and then I can just focus on getting guys and ready. So I think that's all. Yeah, I'll see you all Shall I help you? You want some help? Are you okay? Yay! Yay! Now you have to do another one. What's for Baba? What's for Kasim? One for Baba, one for Kasim. Yeah. What's for Mummy? One for Mummy, thanks. Mmm, this is delicious. Mmm, delicious. Nice. So. Um, I'm currently in the bathroom because Kaisem is fast asleep and I don't want to wake him up by talking. Um, so I thought I'd come in here and just like update you guys on my day. Um, so yeah, we went to the water park today and you'll notice I didn't have a lot of footage and that's because the workers clocked on that I had my phone and so they asked me to remove it and put it, you know, put it away. So I wasn't able to capture any recordings really i mean i had two before they asked me to put it away um but that's the reason why i don't have much footage and to be honest it was really hard to record as well as him without getting other children in the background um so it would have been hard even if they allowed me to have my phone um but yeah 
we stayed there for like two hours and a half and Kaisen enjoyed it so much that even at the end of two and a half hours of being there he didn't want to leave um, but we had to and yeah we made our way to the CBB's hotel, checked in, uh, checking was pretty smooth and then we just chilled around for a little bit. We had a reservation at the Windmills restaurant which is based at the CBB's hotel so we went there around half six to grab a bite. Um, we did plan to go for a walk and then changed our minds because it was freezing like the weather turned so much like it was so cold so we're like okay leave it let's just come back and it's a good job we did because literally after like returning guys and like knocked out within five minutes so yeah it's around half seven um i'm gonna have a bath and then i'm gonna get everything ready for tomorrow and then um yeah edit all the footage that i've recorded today and then watch something on netflix i think um, I've been watching The Alienist, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so yeah, I've got episode 2 and 3 downloaded on Netflix. So I'm going to watch that and call it a day. So on that note, I'm also going to end this vlog now because I know it's a long one. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it either way. Um, and yeah, keep your eye out for part 2 of this vlog. Yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing and just supporting my channel. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, until next time, stay safe and I will all see you soon. Bye.